Boy, yeah, how y'all doing? My name is Major Slack, and welcome to my quick and dirty two-handed warrior build mini walkthrough. To get up to speed on what this is all about, watch the quick and dirty two-handed warrior build overview video, all right? I'll put a link to that in the video description. To follow this walkthrough, you will need to start the game as an orc. All right, start the game as an orc. This is my orc, Maximus Orcus, all right? And you will have to follow the tutorial, Helgen Keep Power Start. All right, Helgen Keep Power Start. I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. Long story short, you should now have just finished working your way through Helgen Keep. All right, reach right the exit of Helgen Keep. And um, you'll have two spare perk points to work with. All right. Here we go. You got two spare perk points, and you just finished Helgen Keep, and you got a whole bunch of loot. All right. You got a crap ton of loot. You should be almost full as far as carry weight, okay? A lot of weapons, a lot of crappy iron weapons, and Imperial gear and whatnot, okay? So that is your situation right now. Now I'm gonna be going through this walkthrough at warp speed, so unfortunately I won't have time to explain every little detail. So I'll be sticking just to the essentials and I'll be editing out a lot of the tedious and repetitive actions in post-production. And needless to say, this will not be a completionist run. So you Mr. the spotters will have to just, well, bite me. <laughs> Come on Slack, Mr. the spotters deserve love too. No they don't. They should all be rounded up and shipped off to a special planet filled with 16 metric tons of video game loot that endlessly respawns so that they can never actually pick everything up. Then they can all just nitpick on one another until the end of time. <laughs> you missed this spot. You missed this spot. You missed that blue mountain flower over there. How about you? You missed that blue mountain flower over there. But they did pick it up. Well, it respawns, so it looks like you still missed it. Missed this spot. Missed this spot. Missed this spot. Missed this spot. Instant diabolical laughter. <laughs> Are you done, Slack? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, but seriously, that, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> no, but seriously, folks, in practice runs, I typically finish this walkthrough with a surplus of 1500 gold. So there's still a little fat to be trimmed yet on this run, but. Hey, a good plan today is better than a perfect plan tomorrow, right? Okay, to quickly recap, you follow the road north from Helgen Keep, you found the Guardian Stones, you picked up the Hanging Moss behind the Thief Stone, you activated the Thief Stone, you jumped into the river, and you swam to Riverwood, and here we are in Riverwood, and are you ready to go live slack? I am ready, Freddy, let's get this party started. Okay, here we are in Riverwood, and we are here for two reasons. One is to make 1200 gold, and two is to make Fane Dell our follower. And my guy here, Maximus Orcus, um, he's not a brainiac, okay? He's not a nerdlinger brainiac. He's just a big jock strap with a warhammer, all right? He's an orc, okay? He's a big dumbass orc. Hey, I'm not dead, Jim. All right, hey, calm down, calm down. Um, but no better prices gear for him, all right? He's just going to sell everything straight up, all right? And if you want more information on that, see my video, How to Make More Money Selling Your Stuff. Uh, not more homework. All right, all right, no more homework. Um... Just ask questions, just post a comment if you got any questions, okay? And when you're selling stuff, always start off with a blacksmith in every town, okay? Whenever you do a looting run and you come back to town to sell stuff, start off with a blacksmith and then move on to the general merchants. It just makes sense to do it like that. Everyone. What do you got for sale? Da 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 da. Helmets. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, quiet. You we're doing a walkthrough here. We're gonna keep everything, or rather sell everything except one set of Imperial armor, boots, officer's helmet, and bracers and we're going to keep one set of light armor for Feindel and sell everything else all right so sell that sell that um i'm not going to sell things one at a time to um you know level up speech we're not going to bother with that sell the shield don't need the studded imperial armor weapons we're going to keep the war hammer hope you got a war hammer sell the mace keep the daggers for enchanting later on although that has nothing to do with this walker but it's a good idea to keep the daggers. Um, sell everything except one bow. Keep that dagger. And we are good. He's not going to buy everything, any, anything else there. Let's move okay. on to the general merchant. Also, let's make Feindel our follower. Starting off by talking to Sven. Ask him, you and Feindel both got the same girl. And I'm just going to fast track through this. That elf is kidding himself if... I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood tree. Finally, he gets you. He sounds persistent. You may be right. Here, give Camilla this letter. It's okay. A caper is afoot. Grab all these cabbages here. Go into the Riverwood Trader. Finds Camilla. 
Maybe you could tell her Sven wanted to trick you into believing this letter was from Feindel. What are you talking about? Let's just fast track this. Thank you for telling me the truth. Go tell Feindel. Could you talk to Feindel as well? Can do. Okay, now. Riverwood Trader. Let's just get the uh, the golden. Solid gold in the shape. You could. Let's fast tracking this. Got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Let's just get to your cell screen. Okay, there we go. The golden claw mission is started. What have you got for sale? A bit of this and a bit of that. Down to our gear. We sold all the weapons. Actually, we don't need this imperial sword either. Uh, actually, I think I do want to keep that. Keep that for Feindel. So keeping all this, uh, keep these two things to for disenchanting later on. Let's move on to the potions. Don't need any of these potions, so we can sell all these safely. Sell that. Sell all the food except cabbages, leeks, tomatoes, and potatoes. Okay, keep all those. Okay, so once again, keep keep cabbages, potatoes, leeks, and tomatoes. And I'm just going to assume that you didn't get tomatoes because it's there's no guarantee that you're going to have tomatoes by this point in the game. Right? Keep all your ingredients. Uh, keep that. Sell the basket and we're done here. <clears throat> Did we hit our target of 1,200 gold? No, we did not, so but there's still more things we can do. Number one, let's make Feindel our follower. Unhook that, go to miscellaneous, hook up, talk to Feindel, follow the quest marker, and we can find out where Feindel is. Looks like he's at home. There he is right there, just in time. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. And he gives you a little bit of chump change. It's always 25 bucks. And oh, now we can make him our follower. Mind. Follow me. I need your help. Wait a minute. I'm right behind you. And I need to trade some things with you. What do you want me to carry? This will give you access to his inventory and the key to his house. Take that. Just take everything. And we'll give him some gear because he's going to be like you know he's going to be on point. So we'll give him this. All the light gear, the imperial light gear. There we go, and we're going to wear those things, okay? So that's his gear, that's our gear. Right, Feindel? And that's that. Let's go loot his house. Loot everything. And I mean everything. Especially these two saber cap pelts here. Grab that. All this gear here. Especially these ingredients here. And for this run, I usually grab everything on the table. And this is something that always happens when I try to leave this table. I accidentally sit down. Grab everything. All the food. Most particularly, those chicken eggs there. Those are the most important. But grab the food too, because you can sell that. So I'm just going to fast track this, because I have to pick up everything carefully in order to avoid sitting down. Got all that. I usually grab this stuff too. Quickly run through that. Over here. Nothing in the cupboard. Grab these ingredients here. Especially the L's here, okay? Don't forget the L's here. If you're going to leave anything behind, don't leave the L's here behind. Grab that, the wine, and I think we're done here. Doesn't matter if we missed anything. This is just going to give us some chump loot. Or rather, ch this is just going to give us some chump change. Now, let's go down and continue the main quest line and talk to Girder. And she is in her house. If she's not in her house, she'll give you the key to her house once you talk to her. Talk to Gerda. Ask her, do you have any supplies I could take? Here's the key to the house. There we go. Stay as long as you like. Thank you very much. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. And then she gives you access to her inventory. I just take everything. Everything. Take it all. Right, exit her inventory. There is something you could do for me. Uh -huh. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the... We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Bada boom. Here we go, so we have a new objective. Talk to the Jarl in Whiterun. Once again, grab everything. Make yourself at home. Especially the chicken eggs. And the ingredients. 
Some of this stuff has no value whatsoever, but you know, to avoid like out of the way there, Fandale. Hey, watch it! Move. Okay, I'm stuck. I'll just skip ahead. Small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. All this wine over here. Leave that, that's nothing. Take all that, there's nothing to steal there. All this stuff here, grab it all, it doesn't matter. All the stuff on the table. I told you my sister would help us out. Sorry, Rayloff. The bar is closed. <laughs> that stuff. Make sure you grab the saber cat pelt up here in the belted you know, tunic. You should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Gold Empire. piece there. Watch out for stuff that's marked as steel. Any will know what the coming of the dragon means. It's Ulfric. Done. <laughs> now, I've noticed something since... Uh, oh yeah, don't forget that I get the chicken egg there. Yes, I did. Okay. Since the remastered version, I've noticed that uh, the Riverwood Trader is open late. It's now like... After business hours, yeah. Okay, can you hear this horrible scraping sound? Maybe the microphone is picking that up. That's a the snow remover outside. Okay, so we could sell a lot of this stuff. you find the claw, the sooner our take a look. That we picked up to Lucan, all this food for for example. Some of it will sell for nothing, but I just get rid of it anyways, just to get out of your inventory. Keep the leak. Keep... sell the mead. Mm -hmm. Once again, you should always start with the blacksmith. He's not here though, so we'll have to wait until morning. I broke from routine there. Okay, and if it's business hours and your vendor is not there, just wait one more hour and he should show up. There he is. I'm right behind you. Lead on. Whatever you looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. We got two hunting bows, that's great. So let's sell the longbow. Keep the Imperial Sword for Feindel, sell the mace, sell the iron sword, keep the iron warhammer for herself, and that's that. Now you can ask Alvor if he needs any help around the forge, and he'll give you two free iron ingots. You're supposed to use it to practice making iron daggers, but we're gonna use it instead to Improve these two hunting bows. There we go. Give one of these improved hunting bows to Feindel. I'm right behind you. Need to trade some things with you. What do you want me to carry? And give him the Imperial Sword, and he's ready to rock and roll. Okay, so Feindel's our follower. He's equipped with weapons and armor. And we have, we're just one short of 1,200 gold. Close enough for rock and roll. We're ready to go. Iron or steel. Now, next objective is to make some vegetable soup. Vegetable soup will allow you to do perpetual power attacks, and if you want more information on that, check out my video. Uh, yeah, I said I wouldn't do any more. Uh, okay, no more homework. Just check out my playlist, Skyrim Remastered Gameplay Tutorials, and it's got a nice library of all my tips, tricks, and how-to stuff on Skyrim. A key thing to this build is being able to do perpetual power attacks, and vegetable soup will allow you to do that. Alright? Just take my word for it. Now, the recipe for vegetable soup is cabbages, leeks, potatoes, and tomato, okay? And you can get cabbages, potatoes, and leeks right there. 
a whole bunch of them, but at this point in the game, you may not have tomatoes. I'm just going to assume you don't. Maybe you got lucky in Helgen Keep like I did, and um, you found some tomatoes, but I'm just going to assume you didn't. So, we are off to Whiterun and Dragon's Reach to talk to the Jarl and get access to his kitchen. Get a little favor quest happening from Ferengar and take care of a few other things that are necessary to this build. So we're going to run over the mountain and head off to Dragon's Reach. Now Faintail's probably getting a little hungry by now, so let's cook him up a hot dog. <laughs> Alright, all right. You get him, Faintail? Out a boy. He the man. All right, shields down. Let's get out of our gear. And run over the mountain. Now, there's this express shuttle service we could take to Dragon's Reach. It'll cost you 40 gold, but, you know, it's worth it to cut cut down on some writing time. They say, by order of the yard, stop right there. There we go. Punch this guy. You caught me. I'll pay off my bounty 40 gold. Smart, man. He takes you to Dragon's Reach for a short stay in the jail, and then you get let out. And you're in Dragon's Reach. <laughs> Dress yourself. I am dressed. I got on a loincloth, okay? My Lord, please. That is the custom in our culture. Jarl Balbrook is not receiving visitors. I just... Well, that explains why Who's the guards let then? you in. Okay, let's just fast track that. So the Jarl will want to speak Italian. to you personally. Hey, Jarl. But it's none of my concern. Here, there is Okay, he gives us some steel armor, that's great. This is a Suitable good chance we'll give you some steel armor. Particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go I find Farin Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. There we go. So we got the Bleak Falls Barrow quest. That is not relevant to this walkthrough. What is relevant is this thing right here. Are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Tech ah, that let's just fast track so that. To deliver the frost salts for me. You'll get a delivery to deliver some frost salts to the local apothecary, Arcadia. Agree to do it. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a meeting. And that's all we need from him. Now. Out you go. Let's grab all these guys here. We can sell these for a little bit of chump change. Got that. Now, into the kitchen we go. In the kitchen is always a bowl of tomatoes. Always. So if you're missing tomatoes for your vegetable soup, that's where you can get them. And I usually just grab everything on the table there. Some more cabbages and another tomato there. And some more potatoes over here. Typically, I just grab everything. Once again, we're just going to sell it. So I'm going to grab this, all this stuff here. Might as well. And, whoops. Especially the ingredients up here. You're going to have to jump to get them. The most important is the elves here. And there should be one more LZ over here. Grab the fish. And we're done. Go to the cooking pot. Whip up as much vegetable soup as you can. It's 
typically seven that you can make. There we go. Vegetable soup. Whenever you go into combat, drink one of these down, and you'll be able to do perpetual power attacks with your Warhammer. Very, very important. Done and done. Out we go. Alright, let's go down to Whiterun Market. Take a little swim on the way. Make sure you grab at least one lavender right here. That's all I need, one lavender. And one blue mountain flower. That's it. Find the... here we go. And what time is it? It's still in the afternoon, that's good. Straight on down here to Arcadia's Cauldron. Ouch, okay. Talk to Arcadia, give her the frost salts. And she rewards you with a whole bunch of potions. Okay, we're going to sell those back to her, but first we're going to make some more potions ourselves. All this stuff here, most of this stuff here is free now, all the ingredients, before they're previously marked as steel. Not because we did her a favor, it's all marked as free. We're not going to collect that because it's not relevant to this walkthrough, but you should grab it all, okay? Uh, what is relevant to this walkthrough is this imp stool here, grab that. This canis root here, and this canis root on the floor here. Unless I kicked it out of the way. There's always a canis root. There it is, right there. Okay, it's typically right here. Okay, so the imp stool and two canis root, that's it. Go behind here, grab the juniper berries, and that is it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Like I said, you should collect all the ingredients if you feel you have time, you're not too much in a hurry. But this is the quick and dirty version, so that's it. That's all we need. Alright? Go to the alchemy table. And we're going to make some power potions, some potions to sell, and some combat potions, okay? First combat potion we're going to make is Canis Root and Imp Stool to make a poison of paralysis. Very, very important, alright? Next, we're going to make six power potions. Chicken's eggs, elves ear, and... Spider eggs. You got these spider eggs in Helgen Keep when you did your Helgen Keep power start, okay? So let's make up as many of these as we can, typically six. And finally, blue mountain flower, lavender, and that hanging moss you picked up from behind the uh, thief stone. I can make another power potion. Alright, so now we have some potions to sell. Easy peasy, and you go ahead and level up, that's okay. No problem. Put a point into Magicka, okay? 10 points into Magicka. We're going to work Magicka up to 150, all right, before we do anything else. I've already put, uh, bumped up health during Helga Keep. All right, 10 points into Magicka. Back to Arcadia. Sell her as much stuff as you can. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Namely, the potions you just made. Don't sell her the paralysis potion, but sell her these, of course. Now, she's just short 12 bucks of buying all these power potions. Let's see if there's any ingredients she has that we could use. Another Canis Root. Yeah, that'll be valuable. Let's grab that. That's perfect. Okay, so back to the potions. Sell her all these now. Boom, we bottomed out of her gold supply, and we are out of here. Let's go next door and sell some stuff to Bellathor. And I'm a poet, and I don't know it. Bellathor is a general merchant. You buy everything. I work for Bellator at the general goods store. Everything's for trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, we don't have any weapons. Keeping all that. We can sell them the Imperial armor now because the steel armor is a lot better. Okay, so we can sell them the Imperial armor. Our new our new armor is the steel armor and these three Imperial pieces of gear, alright? Plus potions. Keep it paralysis, sell the invisibility, sell that. Just sell them everything. Even this. And sell them all the food. Beside the cabbages, potatoes, leeks, and tomatoes, alright? And sell them all the, the crappy bowls and whatnot that you picked up in Dragon's Reach. Some of this will sell for nothing, but I just grab everything. There we go. 
And my target is 2100 gold at this point in the game, and we have it. 2171 gold. There we go. That's what you're looking for at this point in the game. Alright? Coming up next, we're going to go into combat. 